Hey guys, uh, let's explore the new challenging problem. Mm, this is the combination of algebra and geometry problem. Uh, given a parabola y equal a s square. Okay, so this is y equal a s square. And then a c right here is the bubble nuclear. Sorry, b d is the bubble nuclear by sector of a c. Okay, and then because the graph open up works, right? The graph opens up works, and then a must be positive okay if the graph open that work like this and then a should be negative okay so this is really important information because it help you to identify the solution all right um and they ask you what is the value of a okay they ask you what's the value of a okay so um basically we need to connect uh, a b okay and then let's consider Triangle DEC, okay. Consider triangle DEC and triangle BEA. BEA, okay. You have what? You have the angle E right here, okay. Angle E1 right here and angle E2 right here. Angle E1, right? congruent to angle E2 okay because they both equal 90 degree right this is a perpendicular bisector right and because you know obviously you know DC parallel to AB right DC parallel to AB and then angle D right here must be congruent to angle B right here okay angle D congruent to angle B right and then this is called alternate interior angle theorem okay alternate because this is alternate interior angle theorem <coughs> so this information right here right two pairs of angle congruent tells us that triangle D E C right similar to triangle B E A all right you need to write them in the same vertex order okay if you don't write them in the same vertex order and then it's uh, it's gonna be really difficult to identify the the, the, the correct proportion okay so after all right so this this triangle are similar because this is by angle angle theorem okay you learn geometry you know this one all right now you just set up proportion you have de okay de de over de the first and the two uh, the second letter right here over be okay over be equal ec the second and the third letter ec over ea okay and the third uh, ratio is to be dc the first and the third letter dc over ba ba all right now normally we're not going to use all three ratio okay we only need to use two okay so we need to eliminate the one we don't need okay now actually we need to eliminate de over eb right we don't need this one we need this one now we know that because db is the perpendicular bisector of ac okay so which is uh ec ea right here and c sorry uh ea congruent to ec okay ea congruent to ec if ea congruent to ec okay it tells us that this one should be equal one okay so then dc over ba must be equal one dc over ba equal one tells us that dc congruent to ba okay congruent to ba okay now because ba right here the distance between B, ba right here obviously is um uh, is um from here to here three from here to here three so it's to be sit right this is it okay so then dc right here must be for sit okay so equal sit right if right it's it's equal sit right it is equal to it. Now, 
dc equal z but this the the the, the x coordinate upon upon this right here right at origin you see that is equal zero and then the x coordinate upon c right here must be equal z right because you know this equal z right so this tells us that sc equal z okay if sc equal z you just substitute back to the uh, the parabola right here all right so you have yc equal z because sc equal z so z right here is square equal 36 so 36 a okay 36 a so we'll leave it we'll leave it okay we're going to use this later okay now um okay this is just recall okay recall okay recall what the distance formula distance formula all right distance formula say what if you have the point a it's going to be s1 y1 and you have another point point b it's going to be s2 y2 now i need to calculate the distance between a and b okay a and b it's going to be equal square root of h s2 minus s1 square plus y2 minus y1 square okay now this formula help will help me uh, to get the problem done okay okay i leave it over there now so i'm gonna go back to this one okay so i just erase this one now since this db right here is a perpendicular bisector of ac so it tells us that b right here the point b right here will be equal distance from a and c okay so it means that triangle a b c is an isolated triangle at b okay so it tells us that a b right here must be congruent to b c right here okay all right so a b congruent to b c okay now i need to calculate the distance between b and c okay so the distance between b and c now you have s b right here equal three okay because b stay on the the uh, parabola okay so you substitute s over here okay so i have s b right here okay i write over here s b equal three if s b equal three you have y b okay y b you just substitute over here all right you have b s b equal three so three square equal nine so it should be nine a okay all right so i i bought this one i need to use this one later okay now point c right here i have sc equal six and yc equal 30 okay the second one right here all right so i use the distance formula i need to calculate the distance between b and c right bc equal square root of what sc sc equal six sb equal three so six minus three six minus three square plus yc yc equal 36 so this 36 a minus 9a right here 9a and then close parenthesis square okay and then bc right here bc equal ba but b right bc right here equal ba but ba ba equal six right ba equal six and then bc must be equal six so i let this one equal six right all right so i just square both sides okay now i just simplify this one first six minus three equal three three square equal nine okay so i have nine right here plus 36 minus nine 36 a minus nine a is to be 27 a okay so 27 a i just square so it should be 27 27 a all right all together square okay equal 36 all right don't forget don't forget to square the right hand side okay that is it all right so i have 27 i subtract 9 both sides right so i have 27 a all together square okay equal 36 minus 9 so it should be 27 right okay so because this is 27 square right here it's gonna be 27 times 27 so i divide both sides by 27 so i get 27 a square okay equal 
1 okay now I divide both sides by 27 okay so a square equal 1 over 27 right now I don't have enough space I need to go uh, over here okay all right so I move move it up over here okay so a square a square equal 1 over 27 now I take square root both sides so I have a equal plus and minus square root of 1 over 27 okay now since a positive right this is tells us because the, the graph open up work okay so a positive so I only need uh, a equal 1 over 27 and then I take square root of this one okay now I just simplify this one okay uh, take square root of 1 is going to be 1 take square root of 27 is going to be 3 root 3 right because 27 right here equal 9 times 3 now you print it outside it should be 3 so it could be 3 root 3 okay so a equal 1 over 3 root 3 